What's up everyone here and thank you for making this video part. I'm so excited to upload this one for you guys because Disney Plus has released the fourth episode of the final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars and today we're going to be taking a look at episode 4, Unfinished Business. So episode 4 is the final episode to the Bad Batch arc and this episode pulls out all the stops in terms of action and also shows how far these characters have changed throughout the entire series. In this episode, Anakin, Rex, Echo, and the Bad Batch are infiltrating a separatist ship while Obi-Wan and Mace Windu are fighting on the planet series to take over a droid base. All the while, the Bad Batch is having trouble working with Echo on this particular mission for good reason. I mean, his mind was tampered with and controlled by the Separatists for a good period of time. So who's to say that he won't go Winter Soldier on all of us and get us all killed? And that's one of the reasons why I love this episode so much. It's that thin line of trust between Echo and the Bad Batch and how it all gets resolved in the end makes this one of my favorite episodes of this season so far. One of the reasons why I also love this episode is the fact that we get more Jedi action. I mean, as you can tell, the Jedi have always been my favorite group within the Star Wars universe. Sure, I like Anakin, but to me, Obi-Wan is my favorite Jedi of all time, and anytime I get to see him on screen battling the droid army, it always just puts a smile on my face. With that being said, let's also talk about Anakin. Throughout the entire franchise, the Star Wars universe has always centered around the Skywalker family, and one of the things we've always wanted to know was how did Anakin Skywalker become Darth Vader? And while the prequel trilogy did a decent job in showing us that character transition, the Clone Wars TV show does an even better job by showing us even more on how Anakin is slowly going to the dark side. And this episode shows us a bit of that character transition as we see Anakin use his anger to interrogate a general from the droid army. I mean, holy crap, the moment he enters the room, the mood changes from action adventure to a tense stop until you slowly hear the very theme play in the background. And at that point, I was like, oh crap, this is a Disney show and they're actually doing this. So props to Disney for giving us that sweet moment. Speaking of sweet moments, the last thing I really enjoyed about this episode is the dynamic between Crosshair and Wrecker, the brute and the sniper of the Bad Batch. Because throughout the entire episode, these two clones are trying to one-up each other. And every time those two clones try to one-up each other, we as an audience are treated to some of the best action scenes this series has to offer. I mean, obviously I love the Jedi action scenes in this entire series, but this episode has the best action scenes coming from the clones in my opinion. So that's going to do it for this video guys. That was my overall review for episode 4 of the final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button so you can get all these updates from this channel. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye bye.